This is the Sasha Co machine from Baby Lock. It's a fun machine and it has even a more fun story. This machine is extremely unique because as you may be able to tell, there is no needle thread on this machine at all. It only works with a thread down in the bobbin and it creates a very, very beautiful single picked stitch. So there's no thread in between and you can adjust the, the size of the stitch and the distance in between the stitches. And it's a fun complement to your regular sewing machine. Now, the the story of Sashiko, if you if you know anything about Sashiko, it is a Japanese handwork technique that was begun in the villages to repair uh, coats uh, of the fishermen and of the village, the the men who worked in the village, and it's a very beautiful traditional style technique. And where this machine came from is there was a gentleman who worked in the machine factory in Japan whose wife uh, became so she her hands could not hand stitch anymore and she loved doing sashiko and so he created this machine so she could continue doing it even though her hands could no longer do the stitch so it's just really a sweet story of how this machine came about now let me show you a couple of samples so you can see ways that you might use it because you may choose to do traditional sashiko with it but um you know, that's, that's not really my thing. I'm not a, a traditional, um, I haven't used, I don't use it for that traditional application. I love having it as a complement to my machine though. So I have done, for example, this one here is a machine embroidered piece and I've done the quilting and I made little tiny stitches on this one and it was really, really quite fun to do. There's another one here that has more of a more of a Hawaiian inspired look, but the quilting stitches were all done with a sashiko. And then the binding was put on with a sashiko machine as well, because you may see these two little holes right here. The, the binder attachment from my serger, from my baby lock serger fits on here. So I was able to use that binding attachment with the sashiko machine. So that was pretty fun to do. And here's another one that incorporates uh, the decorative stitching in here. And this was all done with the sashiko machine. And then also the binding was put on that same way. Now, I think it's a lot of fun to use for a uh, bag treatment. So here is some decorative stitching just along a cute little tote bag. And also, for creating the quilting. So if you take a look here, it's all just the hand picked stitches from the machine, which is pretty cool. And there is this bag to go along with the wallet. So those are all really fun. Now, if you're a garment person, don't despair. You can use the, the machine to create a beautiful treatment on a garment. Now this was a ready-made blouse. It was just solid black and I added the stitching on the collars and on the cuffs and then also added machine embroidery. And it's really, really fun and easy and it just really gives a beautiful, beautiful couture look to your garments. I'd like to show you how this works. Now remember there is no thread in the needle and as I sew, this little finger will come up and it grabs a loop of the thread and it will um, hold that up so it can form the stitch. Now how does it really work compared to a regular sewing machine? I don't know, I think it's just magic is all I can say. So then I'm going to pull it out. Now when you pull it out, grasp the threads and pull it to the back and then there is is this little piece right here and the thread goes in there and there's a thread cutter. So there's that fun stitch we just made. If you want to change the stitch length or the space between the stitches, you do that here. The two is small and the five is large. So if I wanted a three stitch with a two uh, between them, I'm going to get a medium sized stitch with a very short distance in between them. Let's see how that stitch stitches out. Okay, let's take a look. 
So remember, when you're going to pull it out, grab the thread so it doesn't pull. And it's important to get it around this piece right here and use the thread cutter. And I'll look at that great stitch that it made. So this is the original one we did. And this is the one that we changed to a stitch length of only three with a distance of just two. So just little tiny stitches. So now one thing that you want to keep in mind is that the back is not does not have the same look as the front. It's really not a reversible stitch. It just looks like a regular straight stitch on the back, but the top side is quite pretty. Now why don't we take a look at how this threads because it is extremely unique. Now, every time we've stopped a stitch, the thread needs to be back here in this holder. It's very important that this thread is taunt in the proper position before you start sewing. Everything about this machine is very precise and we're going to follow specific steps. So if I want to change the thread, I'm going to push and hold this button and it will get it in the proper position for me to be able to take out the bobbin. And the bobbin area is where we have our thread. Okay, when we're working with the bobbin, we're going to want to make sure that we're going to thread the tail of our bobbin through these two pieces right here. There are holes in them and you want to go through both of them. And you're going to start on the bobbin side and come out the the um, case side and we're going to align this down on the bottom with that little yellow dot and it's really important of course that we get our uh, bobbin case in all the way okay now what i want to do is lightly hold this and i'm going to turn the hand wheel toward me and the machine will the needle will go down once and usually on the second time it's going to catch and bring that thread up to the top now i can let go of that tail and i want to swipe that thread out and close the door and then hook it on to this piece and cut the thread now we're ready to sew now that we're threaded we're ready to start sewing so if you're into traditional sashiko, this is fabulous, but it's also a great way to add flair to your quilting and to garments and tote bags, whatever your heart desires. This machine can really do some fabulous things and it is a wonderful addition to your sewing machine. What fun is that? No matter what kind of sewing you enjoy doing, whether it be garments, uh, bags, quilting, or traditional sashiko, this machine is a lot of fun, very easy to use, and a great addition to anyone's sewing room.